Tonight we are at the Walt Disney World Dolphin Hotel and we are dining at Shula's Steakhouse. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. If you have been watching our videos for quite some time now, you will know that we have actually already done a dining review at Shula's. Um, I do believe it was quite some time ago. We ate here for Valentine's Day. Um, we were actually back for a media event uh, not too long after that. Um, but we are super excited to be back. Uh, we're excited just to have some steak tonight because they have delicious steak and I am ready to get started. So I did start with a glass of Riesling. This is just like their house Riesling. It is quite good. I will be savoring that throughout the meal. So something I want to mention just about Shula Steakhouse here on property is that this is an open kitchen. So it is very loud in here sometimes. Uh, so if you're kind of expecting the more like intimate kind of fighter setting, probably not what you're going to get here. Also, if you don't know anything about Shula's, it's uh, themed after Don Shula, uh, the famous Miami Dolphins coach. And uh, I got to meet him one time, which was super cool. For my cocktail tonight, I got the Coming Up Roses. This is $15. This is an enticing fusion of Plymouth Gin, St. Germain Elderflower Liqueur, and a honeyed strawberry syrup and house sour. And uh, they bring out a frosted glass and then they pour it in to the, at the table. It smells wonderful. Wow. It's really good. It actually almost has a really nice, almost strawberry lemonade-ish uh, flavor to it. Super smooth uh, and a little bit sweet. Kind of dangerous, uh, but very, very good. So I'm glad I got it. And we've got bread and butter. So guess what, everybody? The butter spreadability is back. Fantastic. It's been a long time since we've had really good bread service uh, that's included with your meal. And uh, bread is piping hot, which is great. And then, of course, the butter, uh, very spreadable. Number four, almost whipped. The only thing I would add is maybe like a little sprinkle of uh, Himalayan sea salt on there. Uh, that would really elevate it up a little bit. But on that, pretty good. You like the butter, Jossie? For my appetizer tonight, I had the French onion soup. This is a must-have when you come to Shola's. It is amazing. It came with the classic beef broth, some caramelized onions, croutons, and then Gruyere and provolone cheese. So double the cheese, double the goodness. The caramelized onions in that beef broth and then when that crouton just like soaks up the broth, it is just so good. And the cheese was super stretchy and melty. Mm, great way to start it off. For my appetizer tonight, I went with the traditional Caesar salad here. This is $13. Little Jim Romaine lettuce, croutons, Parmesan cheese, and house-made Caesar dressing. Uh, the, very good. Uh, all around, dressing was fantastic. The only thing that I would change or that I would like different is just for the romaine to be cut up smaller instead of being like the giant like leaves. Um, I guess maybe just because I'm lazy and I'd rather have it cut for me than having to cut it myself. Um, but honestly, it was really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was your traditional Caesar salad, so it's good. So tonight I had the wedge salad for my appetizer. Um, it was a very nice presentation on the wedge salad. I'm sure you'll see the photos of it. Uh, the dressing was really good. The uh, blue cheese on there was not real pungent blue cheese. It was just kind of a nice mild blue cheese. For my dinner tonight, I had the 10 ounce filet mignon. I had it cooked to medium rare. Um, it was a little more on the rare side. However, it was still super tender and uh, didn't taste like chewy or anything like that. It was actually perfect and it was still nice and hot. Um, it was actually flavored perfectly with salt and pepper. I didn't even dip it in any sauce or anything. It was very good. Um, I also got a side of mac and cheese, which I shared with Skylar. Um, it came with some breadcrumbs on top. It was nice and creamy and gooey. Very good. And Josh ordered some mashed potatoes. And I was like, oh, mashed potatoes, whatever. Until Skylar tried them and was like, oh, you need to try these. They were nice and garlicky and smooth and creamy. Very good. All right, I got the 22 ounce cowboy ribeye. Um, I had it cooked medium. It was seasoned perfectly. Uh, it tasted great. It was tender. I really liked it. Okay, for my dinner tonight, I had the crab cakes. 
Uh, they were good crab cake, typical nice lump crab meat. Uh, remoulade sauce was a little spicy, but good. I like spicy stuff. And uh, the uh, spring salad mix on the top had a nice uh, vinaigrette with it, so it kind of cut some of the richness of the remoulade. Uh, it was a good crab cake. I got the exact same thing as Josh, cooked medium, and it was really good. Went down a road that I don't go down often, which was that I got a uh, porterhouse steak. And um, it was fantastic. Uh, seasoned so well. No sauces needed. And um, super, super tender. I had it medium. I had it cooked medium. Uh, because I'm not... Sometimes if you get medium rare for me, it's just still a little too underdone. But this was fantastic. Cooked so well. Um... Dare I say, I think probably one of the best steaks that I've had on property. Uh, it, it just, I ate literally the whole thing. Normally, I think I might like kind of slow down, maybe take a little bit of it home with me, but I devoured the entire thing. So really, really good. Uh, mashed potatoes were fantastic. Nice little bit of garlic in there. And uh, all right, so we just finished eating inside at uh, Shula's. <laughs> the food was very good. It's exactly as I remember from the last time we were here. The French onion soup, the lava cake, the steaks were perfect. All of it. It was really good. The food was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only thing that I would say was that service was pretty lackluster. Um, not very good. They, they, not that like they should be like overly attentive, but I mean, it drinks. Was it was good to start. And then it was kind of like whenever our food came out, it kind of just like it, died off. It a just little. kind of yeah. It, there wasn't a lot of like just checking back to see if we needed anything. Jossie needed a new straw. We had asked uh, quite a few times for that. Drinks were a little lackluster coming back and forth. But other than that, I mean, you know, the food was still really good. You know, every yes. every so often there's always off nights, but yeah. So but the food was excellent as yeah. always. But let us know if you have ever dined at Shula's here at the Dolphin Resort.